You know what, Luke? Our friend Eddie would love this mobile. Yes, he would. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Oh. Hi, Abby and Luke. Hi. I'm Eddie. And I love maths. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we brought this mobile we made. Wow, <laughs> you've had fun using maths. Maths? No, it was a craft activity, not maths. <laughs> it's craft and maths. Uh, really? How? Well, as soon as you start talking about balancing, you're exploring weight, how heavy something is, and that is maths. <laughs> wow. Mm. In fact, your mobile is a lot like something I have here. Oh. These are called scales, Ooh. and they work in a similar way to your mobile. Uh, your mobile is a dangly version of my scales, mm. except my scales have trays on either side where I can place things to compare Ooh. their weight. Oh, wow. Uh, can we weigh something? Of course. Uh, what can we weigh? Um, oh, well, what about uh, this wooden block and another one? Hmm. Ah, well, we have one wooden cube and this one is what we call a rectangular prism. Hmm. They're both made from the same wood, so, Abby, do you think they'll weigh equal amounts? Hmm. I don't think so. Uh, you said they were made from the same wood, um, but this one is smaller than the rectangular prism, mm -hmm. so it must be heavier. <laughs> what do you think? Let's find out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I was right! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the rectangular prism is heavier because it's twice as big as the cube. Oh. Oh, I've got a question. Ask away, Luke. If the rectangular prism weighs twice as much as the cube, does that mean that two cubes would weigh the same as one rectangular prism? Hmm. What do you think? Go on, Luke. Experiment and see. OK. Hooray! <laughs> two cubes weigh the same as one rectangular prism. Wow, well done. How about this apple? Mm. How many cubes do you think would equal the apple? Mm. Uh, first, feel the apple. Now, feel the wooden cube again. Mm. Luke, how many cubes do you think would be equal to the apple? I'm going to say three. Hmm. And Abby, how many do you think? Four. What do you think? Mm. Let's find out. Here comes the apple. Ooh, oh. It's heavy. <laughs> it must be a really juicy apple. <laughs> I'm ready for the cubes. Oh, here they come. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> three cubes are equal to one apple. Great experimenting. Yeah. That was fun. Mm. What if we were to weigh something really heavy, like an elephant or a dinosaur? <laughs> I don't think a dinosaur could fit on my scales, <laughs> but I do know that the heaviest dinosaur was called the Argentinosaurus. Mm. That can be you, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> and Abby, you can be an elephant. <laughs> and I'll be the scales. Mm -hmm. Jump on my pretend scales, elephant. <laughs> Wow, she is a heavy elephant. I wonder if the Argentinosaurus is as heavy. Jump on! <laughs> the Argentinosaurus is heavier than the elephant. In fact, you would need 17 elephants to balance out the scales with the Argentinosaurus. That's how big and heavy they were. Can you be a great big heavy dinosaur? Romping and stomping around. <laughs> Stomp, 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 dinosaur. Stomp, 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 stomping in the swamp. Stomp, 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 dinosaur. Stomp, 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 stomping in the swamp.